to the court and said, I hope you don't have to go to the public hands now. Do you have to be there to if anyone does? Okay. And another reason why I believe it's the quickest way to reach the world is that the poor are not strong They don't need training. Now Newton, I guess that's why he comes to this camp to get some training in preaching the gospel for them. They do it naturally. There's an only song, we won't look at the whole thing now, in Psalm 102, but it's, it's one which has got an awful lot of yearning questions. When you, when you preach the song, you think, how could God allow that? How could God, despite the people in India, how could he allow those slave boys? How could he allow, how could people that, that you, you have in the streets down here, and I, I've been in New Zealand only three times, but I've seen the people in your streets. Who are I've seen the people that come out of your bars at night. They're poor. I've seen the people down, down in Christchurch. I've seen the people in, in Australia, at in King's Cross. I've seen the people that come from the islands here. I don't know where their home is. I don't know who their people are. And get put to one bit of the city somewhere. What is going on? Why are there some of us here who seem to have had a better deal from life? Some of us here who even had two parents and we knew who they were, who brought us up and gave us two or three meals a day. There are millions of people in this country who don't know that. Don't know who their parents are, who are ashamed of their parents. And nobody comes back at night and nobody sees them. Nobody wants them. Why is it that some people are like that and some people are like us? Well, I want to tell you the answers in Psalm 102. God has allowed the difficulties and the poverty so that those people may call upon Him, so that they may be saved, so that the world will recognize Jesus. That's how it goes. And the so-called rich will come to Jesus when they see the so-called poor being touched and changed. That's what Psalm 102 says. It says, let this be written for a future generation, that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. The Lord looks down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he drew the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners and release those condemned to death. So the name of the Lord will be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. Let this be written for a future generation that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. This is what happened in Hong Kong in our own lives. We saw people dreadfully ill-treated. We saw people who have no holiday ever. And this kind of conference could never take place in Hong Kong without a miracle, because there will never be this number of people who get this number of days off at the same time. You are rich in time, yeah? Amen. You have days off, and you have holidays, and you have grass to lie on. All I ever saw was people crowded, queuing up to, to sleep because they couldn't lie down at the same time. Mothers who had to do two jobs a day in order to feed their families and to pay the rent. Why, why would God allow that? Why would he allow heroin then full of people hurting and crying at night? Why is it so unfair one country with another? One race with another? Why? Oh, good answer. Because he chose them. You know, our guys say, and they mean it with all their heart, they haven't been taught this. We are the best ones. Because we knew our poverty. The rich ones don't know how poor they are. They don't know how they need the Lord. We thank God that we could be on heroin for 30 years and there was nowhere else to turn but the Lord. And you know the first thing they say when they 
have come into our room to meet Jesus. Usually not more than five minutes before they meet him. They say, I've been chosen. And we haven't taught them that. I don't know how they get it. And they start to pray and say, thank you Lord for choosing me. And then they go out and find a friend outside and they say, you've been chosen too. Extraordinary glory. Anyone who comes is chosen, that's what they say. Extraordinary. And through their testimonies, the testimonies of guys who suffered and had such an unfair and oppressed life, many more become Christians. That's what this verse says. Let this be written for a future generation, that if people not yet created may praise the Lord, when they see what God has done in the poor. And there are people living now who come to believe in Jesus Christ, who were not alive when our guys were suffering and crying in the night, and their mothers were weeping, and their fathers were beating them. There are people who've become Christians who know Jesus because of the testimony of our brothers. So unfair. I didn't preach to those people. I just preached to the poor, and the others came in as a result. And the rich, this is the much hmm. If you think I'm biased, I am. You see the rich. When they see the poor who come to know Jesus, they're jealous. We have many, many rich people in our fellowship. Yeah. We don't have any middle people, by the way. We have the bottom, the breaks and the tops. And the rich people, the barristers and the bankers, all the ones we didn't pay that, they see what God has done in our simple lives, and they said, that's the Lord I want. So your guys are rich, and I am poor. <coughs> see how it goes? You preach to the poor that the rich will come by themselves to be their politics. That's why God finds Yeah.